ladies, 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 listen here. Curls Popping Pineapple Collection is now available in Walmart. And welcome to my channel if you're new I'm Kinsey and as you can tell by the title down below in today's video we're gonna be talking about something so 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 exciting and I can't wait to share it with you guys I'm also gonna be showing you how I created this style right here which is bomb for the summer so if you're interested definitely be sure to keep on watching and without further ado let's go ahead and get started okay so to start off I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my hair with the so so clean vitamin C curl wash and you know you just want to go ahead and wash your hair as normal I like to take the pads of my fingers and just really get in and scrub my scalp really really well remove all of that product buildup and when it comes to your ends you don't want to manipulate them too much and you don't want them to get too dry so you don't necessarily need to put too much shampoo on it directly you just want to let that water let the remaining shampoo rinse down your hair as you rinse it out and now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this so so moist vitamin C curl mask and I actually did deep condition and detangle my hair last night but I decided to go ahead and use this as well of course just to try it out I left it on and covered for about 15 20 minutes and then after that I just went ahead and rinsed it out as normal wrung out all of the excess water just so that it's not like running down my neck and face and then we're gonna go ahead and proceed to style okay so I just got out of the shower and this is what my hair is looking like it's looking a little bit crazy, but that's okay. We're gonna get it under control right now. And I'm super, super excited to share with you guys the Poppin' Pineapple Collection. I've actually already been dabbling with the products, kind of getting a feel for it. I actually did a wash and go just to kind of try it out and see how I felt about it as far as a wash and go is concerned. As you guys can see, the results were bomb. So if you are interested in using these products for a wash and go, it did pass the wash and go test. So before I actually go ahead and jump into the video, I do understand that not everybody knows how to braid. Um, trust me we all gotta start somewhere so I understand if you are new to the braiding scene and you're still learning how to like you know get a hang of it I do have a video here on my channel showing you in-depth step-by-step detail how to French braid dust braid corner or whatever you want to call it and I'll of course have that linked down in the description box below and then I'll also have a card somewhere like here or here wherever it pops up for you to check out if you want to go ahead and check that video out first and it'll make this video a lot easier to understand and follow along. Okay, so first things first, you wanna start off by parting your hair wherever you want your hair parted in the front. Now for me personally, I like to usually have my hair like some kind of swoop or like side part or something like that. Um, right now I just have a middle part, but I'm gonna go ahead and part that off. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to part my hair down the middle. My hair is still pretty wet from the shower, but I like my hair to be super, super wet. That way it can absorb the products better. So I'm just gonna go through and spray my hair a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Poppin' Pineapples So So Smooth Vitamin C Leave-In Conditioner. And you guys, this collection smells so, so, so freaking good. I'm gonna go ahead and just evenly distribute all of this product throughout my hair, make sure that it's getting really nice and coated, make sure my ends are nice and moisturized, kind of squeeze that into your hair to really help it penetrate through your hair shaft. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my dimming brush and starting at my ends, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of detangle my hair again just to make sure one, all of the product is getting evenly distributed and two, because my hair needs to be detangled in order for this to work. <laughs> okay, so my hair is all nice and detangled. I know you guys see how easily this is just gliding through like a butter baby. So now that I've gone in with the leave-in conditioner and it's all evenly distributed through my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the So So Death Vitamin C Curl Defining Jelly. And this right here, you guys, I have pretty thick hair. My hair is pretty frizzy, so I'm always looking for some sort of gel that's gonna not only give me some hold, but something that's not gonna be too crunchy, something that smells good, something that's thick enough to where it's, like I said, giving me some hold but not like super stiff. This gel is super thick, look. 
You know how Dairy Queen does that blizzard test where they're like, if we flip it and it doesn't fall out of the cup, then that's how you know it's right or like something like that. I don't know, but that's like this jelly. Like, look at this, y'all. Do you see this? Hold on, hold, hold, please. And that's me not even like super defining my hair. Y'all know that I like really take time to define my hair. And I didn't even do that here and I'm still getting like loads of shine, loads of freaking definition. Just, oh, I can't even fake the funk if I wanted to right now, okay? Alright, so now I'm just going to go ahead and start braiding. And for me personally, I like to braid kind of along the outside of my hair versus going like straight back like that. I feel like it's just like a little bit more feminine, but of course, to each their own. And like I said, if you don't know how to braid and you're still on the learning side, definitely check out my video that I have listed down in the description box below where I show you step by step how to Dutch braid or French braid or cornrow. Again, whatever you want to call it, whatever floats your boat. So as you can see, I braided it past the nape of my neck, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and take a hair tie and tie it at the nape of my neck. Perfect. I just found that when you braid it past the nape of your neck, it makes it a little bit easier to tie the hair tie without your curls kind of getting in the way. Stuff like that, you know? Little life hacks. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the second side. So not only do these products smell absolutely freaking lootly amazing, but they're also jammed packed full of vitamins like vitamin A, vitamin B1, vitamin B6, and vitamin C. Okay, so when it comes to actual like pigtail aspect of it, you could totally stop right here and embrace the frizz. But y'all know me, I love a little bit of definition and I really wanna show you guys just how much this jelly defines your hair. So very carefully, I'm gonna go ahead and while I'm holding my hair, re-detangle my pigtails. All right, so once I have gone ahead and detangled that section, I'm gonna go ahead and actually split it into a section. Go in with a little bit of jelly jelly and start redefining this section. Voila! Look at the freaking definition. Do y'all see that? Oh my gosh. No definition? Definition. So again, I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat these same steps on this side. Y'all can't tell me nothing right now. I know y'all see how bouncy, shiny, and defined my hair is. Like what? What? Um, of course, you can stop right here and just air dry your hair if you want to, but for me personally, I did find that whenever I let my hair air dry with this particular style, it does end up leaving each um, ponytail section really flat, and I like volume, okay, honey? So I am going to compromise a little bit of the definition for some frizz by diffusing my hair just for about 10-15 minutes because one, it's soaking wet right now, and two, like I said, I want that volume, honey. So I'm going to go ahead and diffuse my hair on low speed and medium temperature. Okay, so I'm back, and as you can see, I look completely different. So I want to go ahead and jazz this up just a little bit. Nothing too crazy, so I'm actually going to go ahead and take these little gold hair accessories. Boom. Now for the final touches, you know for that that this right here, I'm going to go in with my So So Fresh scalp treatment. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of fluff out each of these little puffs. I don't want to mess with them too much to where they get compromised and lose their definition, but enough to where they're real voluminous and fluffy, you know? I absolutely love this style because it's super quick, super easy, yet everything is like out of your face. So on a hot summer day, you don't have to worry about like, uh, 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 you know, but you're still popping, okay? You could literally jazz this hairstyle up so many different ways. You could wear it like this. You could do little puff balls. You could wear it in a little ponytail. So here's a close up view. As you guys can see, the braids are popping. Super easy, super quick. My curls are still popping. I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it and try it because you're gonna fall in love. I guarantee you, like, I guarantee you're gonna love, love, love this collection. You can find it at Walmart and I promise you, 
How many of y'all come back to this video? Like, once you get your hands on it, can you come back to this video and tell me in the comments what you felt about it? Because, like, at this point, I don't know if I'm over-exaggerating or what, but, like, I'm literally obsessed. Do you know how hard it is to find a product that not only gives me shine and moisture, but also gives me volume and definition? Like, hold the phones, because, like, that doesn't happen, okay? Like, that does not happen. Anyway, I'm getting out of hand. I'm rambling. So that's pretty much it. Of course, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, definitely be sure to give it a giant thumbs up. And of course, comment down below. Also, if you guys do recreate this style, definitely be sure to tag me in your pictures and your videos because I absolutely love seeing that kind of stuff. And of course, if you aren't already, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification down below. That way you never miss a post. And as always, I love you guys so much and I'll see you on my next video. It's popping pineapple. We fly in our dry condition moisturize. So smooth, so dead, so fresh. It's time to get popping pineapple.